And so those great words out of Amos, you heard them when Martin Luther King was quoting them out of the King James Version of the Bible. Let justice roll down like a mighty river. God said, I want justice. That's what I want. I want you to treat each other well. Whether you agree with each other or whether you don't. Whether you like each other or whether you don't. We heard in the opening song that Sally played in the prelude, Give me your huddled masses. America has always been a refuge for the oppressed. And we have huge problems and huge questions that we have to deal with in our country. <clears throat> and I know the words of Robert Frost ought to be read by every member of Congress. And that is that before you build a fence, you better figure out who you're fencing in and who you're fencing out. So God requires justice. I'm saying to you this morning, as wonderful it is as it is to have a barbecue, as wonderful it is to get together with family and friends, as wonderful it is to have a great day and go walk on sand beach or go take the dogs for a run in the ocean uh, or whatever, or to get with kids and grandkids, this thing that made America great was pluralism. It was a respect for the other. It was that all men are created equal. And it took us a while, a long while. It was in my own grandmother's generation that they finally got it straight enough to figure out that women should have the right to vote. And it was women preachers that helped to lead that fight, by the way. Some of the Methodist <laughs> preachers. So this morning, the challenge of liberty and justice Somehow there's a belief that if we, if we extend liberty and justice to others that the world's going to go to hell in a handbasket. You know, I love and value the freedom we have in this country. I hate to think that I would preach in a church where someone from a government agency was sitting to report back to Big Brother what I was preaching this morning. To censor my message. To limit the freedom of thought and our understanding of the spiritual life. And what I want at freedom and liberty that I enjoy, I want to see others enjoy. I don't want to see someone cut off just because they say something that I don't agree with. There is this beautiful thing in the Constitution called the Bill of Rights. I'm going to have a glory to God moment in a moment. This beautiful thing called the Bill of Rights. The freedom of speech. The right to assemble. The freedom of religion. The government shall make no law pertaining to religion. Isn't that a beautiful concept this morning? That's liberty and justice for all. And I'm saying to you, my brothers and sisters, that as we celebrate our independence, those who are different than we are in this nation need to be extended the same rights and liberties as you would want. <coughs> my brother would often say at a point like this, you have a year of Bible for that, Stephen? <laughs> Jesus said, treat us the way you want to be treated. The problem is not with Jesus this morning. The problem is what some of the people who talk about him have done to him. I said this week I'm going to preach a sermon. Catherine looked at me and I'm not sure. That, I don't clear it, but the problem is not Jesus. The problem is what people have done with the message and the life and the teachings of Jesus. He is a Savior who holds us accountable more to the letter of the law. We all know people and the experience of people who will just do things by the rules with no compassion. But as William Sloan Coffin said at Riverside Church years ago, that 
compassion and justice are companions and not choices. And when we've all failed to keep the rules, we need compassion and the belief that we can turn around and that our lives can be better. This 4th of July, when we see the flag, when we enjoy the barbecues, when we talk to our families without fear of some government intrusion, let us also be thankful that the liberty we enjoy, the justice that we enjoy, this freedom for all that we enjoy is the God-given right of every other human being on this planet, whether I agree with them or like them or approve of them or not. And so I urge you this Independent Sunday not to be tolerant, to abide with repugnance, but to be inclusive and say, because I want to be treated well, I'm going to treat others the way I want to be treated. Amen.